I've got the new uh, uh, cooler freezer in, 12 volt, F40, CATMP, uh, portable refrigerator. It's going to be a lot better than the one I have, it takes less wattage. I'll have to get it into the, um, the dream machine, see how it's going to work, see if the solar system can handle it. It's actually uh, meant for dual use, I guess you could say, like inside the house or in a vehicle. I'm going to be using it in the RV, but I really would really like to try it. Look at the good seal on there, eh? It's got the three ways to power it. You can go to 120, 12, 24. We've got the pack here with the power cord and... Plug in for 12 volt. I did order this battery also, you see, just to help power it overnight. It's not in yet. But it does say right here on the tip to wait once it's shipped because you're not sure which uh, position it was in all the time to wait 12 hours. So even though I really like to try it, I got to wait till tomorrow just to make sure the can compressor it's got a compressor on it just like a fridge make sure everything uh, the fluid is uh, settled down properly so we'll continue this uh, tomorrow I'm gonna check it out very sturdy though very sturdy built a little USB port too there's an app for it I think it's gonna be way better than the one I have well I'm impressed I have to do a little update been like 15 minutes already down to 8c i think i have a set for five i mean that's plenty cold enough for food although you can go even to freezer mode on one side well i'm going to keep it for fridge this is awesome so far ah, look here package ah looks like it's the battery yeah there's a backup battery for my fridge just thought it'd be good to have an additional besides the solar i can use this let's see what she looks like cool another instruction manual lots of instruction manuals but i always try to keep them for a while and look through them for sure Operation instruction, battery, interface, display. Yeah, you can hook this up to the, an app too. The fridge and the, and the battery, I guess. Look at that. Whew. Just basically a battery pack. It's supposed to run the fridge for like five hours on its own once it's charged. I also have the USB. Okay, it's got a 12 volt charger also. And go to 120. I believe you can go to 120. Maybe it is only 12 volt. Oh no. Here we go. Yeah, 120 charger also. No, I think it's just 12 volt. I'm going to look at it better. But anyway, I can charge it easy with my solar system. And then maybe at night, this can run it through the night. Looking short, looking good. Ready for the install of the fridge into my van. Be sure to check out the links in the comment. Okay, I got the old one out, but this is a very tight fit for this new one. For the F40. So I'm going to have to take some of the panel off, I guess. Maybe make it trench or a groove for the power cord as it plugs in down at the bottom here so it sticks out a good uh, a good half an inch oh a good inch so that's going to be a problem too but I really want to get it stuck in all the way otherwise you know you don't kind of have it sticking out 
don't want to be walk, walking around it and shit. So I'll have to do a little uh, cutting. We'll get it. cutting should be good for that side uh, put her back in place that freed up freed up about half an inch it should go in but I just got to cut a groove now on this side or uh, power cord too tight of a fit down there at the bottom cut a trench or not a groove and then run the cord out it uh, sh should work right okay One good thing about the old uh, RB, like I put this coating on to firm it up, but this shit over 35 years, it just dried right out. But, uh, so it's not too bad to cut. But this coating sure firmed it up. Kind of a tar, but it actually dries up and hardens. So I'll get this cut out. How close it is. And that's gonna go in there. That's gonna go in there. And then with the plug in, we're gonna have to plug this sucker in first, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a tight fit. But uh, it's all right. At least it won't. At least it won't wobble around or anything, right? Undo this cord. Now. Plug it in first. And this will be sitting down on the bottom there, on the ground, on the floor. Then we got the other end here. It's gonna come out. Well, let's see how that's gonna do. Frickin' tight. Probably too tight. Oh, camera fell over. I'm gonna have to do some more trimming. That's just uh, too tight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I got her in. Pretty much flush. Plugs in here. Then I also can, uh, I might have thrown a little extension or something. So we're not on shore power. I go into my solar. 
or run it off the uh, power pack that it, you can get with it, battery power pack. Either way, I'll get power to it. And it's in and I can access it. Lifts up very high, high enough. And while I'm here, I can show you my nice drawer I built. Nice slide out drawer. Just got one of these off Amazon. I got the sliders off Amazon, built it in. Perfecto. Okay, and then, all said and done, because, yeah, you know, it looks fine like that, but I like to be patriotic, so I got my little flag that I hang here, you see. Covers it up nice. And one thing that turned out good, too, it has breathers breather uh, areas right on the on the unit on the fridge so now that the bottom's cut out along the, the side it'll have lots of air coming from underneath lots of air from here and there's room in the back about four inches so I can get lots of air that way also 17 C right now but in like uh, 15 minutes it'll be down to five and you can hardly hear it it's got a compressor, so it does kick out once it gets to a nice temperature, or the temperature you have it set at. And yeah, so it won't be running all night. So that's good. I'm just lining things up, getting things all ready in the van, because i got security job coming up. Where I'll be uh, patrolling, but then in between the patrols, I relax in my van, you see. Make coffee or whatever. So follow, and we'll catch you on the next one. Stay free, dream your dream, just like the Canadian dreamer.